what's going on guys and welcome back to Ghost Glow and today we've come back to Five Nights at Candy's Remastered um really annoying I have literally just replayed the entire night one and two gone through the cutscenes and I did start recording for night three annoyingly the video file was corrupted and then, uh, when I went back to just record the second part, as I went for a little break, um, he sent me back to night one. So, uh, we're going for this video to replay night three. For me, obviously it's still recording for you, but, uh, night four, now I've checked all the settings, everything's working, everything's checked. Now, uh, if you're watching, grab a cup of tea. Yes, this is a Minions Cup. Leave me alone. This is editing, Daryl. Please help me. This is my second cup of tea. I've just really loved that whilst editing. Yay! If, if you don't have a cup of tea right now, I'm about to, I'm about to kick you out of here. Go on, go get a cup of tea. Alright, you got one? Alright, continue night three. Third night. Okay, let's listen to what he has to say. You have one new message. Okay, play it to me then. Still here, I see. Yes, I am. Job these last two nights. You're already way better than our previous night guard. He didn't even stand two nights before he brought a wrench to his shift and tried to destroy one of our animatronics. Sounds a little bit like Purple Guy. The animatronic in question is the blank character. One in the drawing room on uh, camera 11, I think. Yeah. I'm surprised he still works. Right there. And despite the holes and the fact that his left arm and the back of his head is missing, the kids still really like him. Anyway, ever since that day, Blank's been acting almost more strange than the other animatronics. Hmm. Like, among other things, he seems to have developed this fascination with getting into the office through the ticket booth. And I guess he can't see the glass or something. Maybe not. So, yeah, uh, keep an eye on him. If you see him heading to the ticket booth, just shut the door in his face, and then he'll find something else to mm -hmm. do, I guess. Oh, and uh, by the way, ever since that new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza oh. last week, we've been getting more and more customers during the day. So next Sweet. Week, if you're up for it, more money we for us then. Use you on the day oh ship. yeah. Think it over. We'll talk later. I sure will. Hello there. And there's Blank in Phase One. Now, we could call it Phase Two. Um, this is what I meant in the first episode by it partially being canon, is because he does mention Freddy Fazbear's closing down, which obviously kind of makes that canon. Now, obviously to Scott, that is not canon unless he announces it is canon. Um, but I just find that really interesting. Okay, Blank is one of the most terrifying characters in my opinion, I don't like that. Okay, he's in phase two means as soon as he disappears that front door is the front window is being shut okay also I did mention I believe in the last video I don't know if I did uh, Chester the monkey um, I believed that he was coming in night three or night four um, I was completely wrong about that um, as I was just checking the cameras whilst playing through night one and two I can't remember if it was, I think it was night two, and then I checked on him, and he was there. So, uh, I've been mistaking some characters, because he, he never even mentions the, uh, moving of Chester. He just talks about Candy and Cindy. He's gone. There we go. Dealt with that. And he'll appear on the left door. So, uh, fun fact. I was an absolute idiot. <laughs> Um, so it's the Penguin, Candy, Cindy, and Blank. My wire for my headphones just touched my leg and it terrified me then. God, can't do that. Okay, that should be Chester, I believe. It might not be. I, I can't even tell now. Um, Penguin? Okay, now it's it might seem stupid. Power efficiency wise, I do not care, but 
but I'm just going to leave the night vision on. I know it's not power sufficient, but uh, or efficient, but uh, for me it's efficient on checking on him instead of constantly looking left and right and then double clicking and then double clicking again to get rid of it. It shouldn't waste my power. Hang on. Okay, that's him looking at me. Okay, I got terrified then and I thought he was coming after me. Okay, I cannot remember who night four is. I think it's night four and five though that I need to check the cameras. So it should be the old candy. That's the... Oh, crap. That's the last of the... um. Okay, Christ's sake, that's horrifying. That is the last of the characters, I believe, to actually activate that are based in this new location. Um, now, there are there is more lore um, in the second game and the third game, which is why I will be playing those two more games after this one. But uh, I'll play some games in between it. But uh, the next series I have set up, is looking sweet. Um, it will be beginning soon. As soon as Five Nights at Candies is finished, then uh, we'll hop into it. I won't quite tell you what it is yet, but it is another FNAF fan game, and it it looks utterly amazing. Okay, there's blank gone. See, I'm only at 70, I'm at seventy eight percent. I saw that. And it's 4am, so I mean, sweet. Oh my god, already? He was right there, ready to knock down that door. I don't know why they would knock it down, it's pure steel. Oh my god, to be honest, I should be able to cope with this because I've played Ultimate Custom. Like, I think my high scores are around 5,000 right now. I believe um, that is a lot of multitasking. Uh, focusing on different things and it is terrifying this game just has a certain vibe though it's like it's it holds a special place in my heart especially since like I remember so well the early FNAF franchise and then the release of the fan games especially this one it became my favorite I do have to say I never really paid attention to it for a while and uh well i've come back to it and it's definitely renewed my love for it same as youtube as i obviously the last video um i took a decent sized break because i was just feeling so drained and now it feels fresh and new and we get a new cutscene <sighs> i'm not looking forward to night four. Oh, it should be old candy. Okay, loading feed. Okay, we know the last time there were the children, and that's what we believe to be children. I'll speak more on it in a sec. We have an angry Vinny. We have the bodies of what I was looking into it, and I believe that, and others to believe, are two children. I think a boy and a girl. Yet again. Pretty angry Vinny. He's not looking very happy, is he? And uh, I don't quite know who the murderer is, but it, that should be evidence in Five Nights at Candy's Three. It's getting in depth with the law now. Okay, he was not happy that the cops have turned up. Okay, we're hopping to night four. And we'll call it a day. Okay, it should be old candy now. Remember that. I think he's in the parts and service room. Parts and service, cam One. Remember his face popping around that corner. Alright, um, uh, so, real quick, um, we had an old animatronic version of Candy. Here we go. Uh, before we got these new shiny ones. Anyway, uh, he was supposed to be out of commission ever since he was involved in this incident with a customer. Uh, an adult customer, actually. Not, not a child. Not, not, not that the children are just in time, and he wants me to warn you that old candy might Nonetheless, start though, walking around as well. Nonetheless, though, it's still an incident. He should be in parts and service. That's uh, camera ten, I believe. Keep a real good eye on him. He's okay. Quite big, so just be careful around. That's all. Um, keep up on the good work. Oh, and I heard you took the day shift offer. Nice. 
Okay, now I know he comes to the left and you can't see his eyes, so what I'm going to keep doing is I'm going to keep checking this every now and then, but mainly cam 6 and cam 11, just so I have my eyes tracked on him and blank is about to move at the same time as old candy. That's not very polite. I, I, I genuinely don't like that. That's horrifying. Okay, old candy's not at the door yet. No one's at that door yet. See, I'm still at a sufficient amount of power. Still, no one's arrived. We're at 1 a.m. Like I said in last night, I'm I am just gonna keep. The, I'm not turning off the night vision. We're at 83. Penguin, get out of here! I don't want to see you. Okay. Oh, that was too close for comfort in my opinion. Blank. Sit down. Sit your ass down. Oh my god. That really is not fun. Go on, Blank. Do it, Blank. Come on. Come after me. The window's open. The window is open. Sorry for my pronunciation of open. It's a bad habit. I checked just when he hit that. And, uh. He just teleports right back. This game makes my arm ache. How? I, it's because I have to keep turning it, like, multiple times. I don't know if you can hear, like, me moving the mouse. You probably can. I need to get a new mic stand. Candy! Get out of here! Okay, so far I've not been jump scared, so. But I mean that's a, that's a that's a that's a plus. I I, I I thought I was so dead there. I thought the moment I say I'm not dead yet, I was going to die. Okay, we can open that now. Oh my god! I wonder if this is harder or easier than the game before it was remastered. It'd be interesting to know. Okay, we're at 59%, but we're at uh, 4am, so we should be a-okay. Current, unless that happens and I don't see it, and oh my god. Okay, that door should be fine, that door should be fine. Check again, just in case of old candy. I cannot explain how much this game makes my arm ache. Hello Candy! How you doing? Hello Blank. See you're stepping up there. Okay, Candy's gone. Double check here. Okay. I don't like the fact that Blank just stands there. You could just get on with it in a... Kill me already. Don't actually kill me. Okay, I just double check that because I didn't want to screw anything up there. Quick! Okay, I feel like something is off. Something just doesn't feel right right now. I mean, we should be we should be fine now in case something like that happens. Go away! Oh my god! Okay, um, if you if you want to play this game, it's honestly get to night four. All you need to do is just check the left and right. Keep checking blank on 
his nights and on old Candy's nights, just keep clicking between cam 6 and cam 11 and look, I'm at 43% on my night. Night 5? I'm at 5am. I'm almost, I'm going to... I am at night 5. Oh, my arms. Whew. Owie. Okay, we're going to get a cut scene. Okay. I don't remember this one. I'll see. I've not played it. I've played it for years. There's Candy and Cindy. Interesting. Oh. He's pointing at them, I think. Ah, they're on the assembly line. According to law behind these FNAF fan games and the FNAF games, more with the FNAF fan games, someone that is killed does not have to be put inside the suit. So, I'm guessing two children, two main animatronics. Similar to the FNAF games, they just didn't get stuff inside the suit, so there's obviously we saw the cops were there. So they, I'm guessing wanted the factory, they had the new ones built, and they decided to possess the uh, animatronics. Interesting. This game terrifying and makes my arm ache. Wow, okay, that was enjoyable. It was not enjoyable having to replay some of it, but uh, it was enjoyable to finally get a good recording and have it all sorted out. It feels so good to be back, honestly, everything feels fresh and new, and I cannot wait to begin more series. Now, there will be a schedule, I am, um, I'll tell you now, but uh, okay, so on the day of recording, I will get that edited processed and scheduled to 12 o'clock UK time to the next day and then on that day when it's uploaded I'll have a break the day after I'll do another video get a process ready for that day and then obviously on on the day it is uploaded for you guys I'll be taking a break the day after it just it's a rinse and repeat cycle I'll I'll do the videos after I've had them uploaded so yeah It'll be a decent cycle, it gives me a little bit of a break and it's just going to feel more fresh and I'm not going to feel just burnt out and drained. Um, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you don't mind leaving a comment on if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like if you wish, it would mean a lot and if you can subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like to be notified of every time that I upload. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye.